Hey ladies and gents, welcome to our first part of our inorganic analysis lab. We're going to be viewing gas discharge tubes using an, a spectroscope. So as, as we know, as we energize elements, uh, different elements will emit different wavelengths of light. Why does this happen? Well remember, as we pump energy into an atom of an element, the electrons in the atom's orbitals will jump from their low energy levels to their high energy levels. As they fall back down from high energy levels to low energy levels, as they release the energy, they release it in the form of light of specific wavelengths, depending on which electrons and which energy levels we're talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put our gas discharge tubes of different elements, containing gases of different elements, into our device, our spectrum tube device, and uh, look at their wavelengths through our spectroscope. Now let's talk a little bit about the spectroscope itself. Now this is a handheld spectroscope, but it's just like the spectroscopes that we see in lecture that uh, essentially examine inorganic evidence for their elements. So it consists of a slit at one end with a prism material that will essentially split the concentrated light from our discharge tubes into its component wavelengths, just like a, a prism does with with regular, with regular white light, and we're gonna be able to view it through this end. Now, it's kinda of hard to do on video, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of different discharge tubes into our device and uh, view them through the spectroscope as I take pictures. Now, we have a, a bunch of elements to choose from. We have hydrogen in there right now, which as you see is emitting kind of a purpley color, but we also have argon and helium and xenon and mercury and neon and nitrogen and all sorts of things. So uh, get ready to look at a couple of things and it should be pretty interesting what the difference emission spectra look like. So stay tuned. 